co-manager is a woman who actually mentors me. <laughs> uh, my deputy field director is an African-American woman. Um, I, I have always uh, sought diversity uh, in, in my uh, campaign staffs, my congressional staff. It's important. Uh, it's important for government offices uh, to reflect the people that they represent and are trying to, um, to serve. Uh, and it's important for politicians to have uh, diverse staffs and to seek advice from, uh, from everybody in society. So uh, it's, uh, it's something that uh, I think is important, and I've tried my best to, to live up to that commitment. Thank well, you. I, I'm sorry, I might as well. I should say that as governor, uh, my cabinet would reflect that diversity. My appointments to major departments would reflect that diversity. Um, uh, again, it, it, it's important on the merits. It's also important uh, on, on what the message it sends to the people, uh, that, uh, that government is for everybody, uh, including government jobs, access to government power is for everybody, uh, and, and that is the best way to, to exercise our democratic powers. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, when I uh, arrived at county government, it was not very diverse. Uh, it is today. It's extremely diverse. From my directors to my <laughs> boards, commissions, and authorities, there was a time where diversity used to mean a one African American and one woman on a board. Those days are over. These boards reflect what the county looks like, what the world looks like. But, but we went further. I did an executive order, and I did legislation. We are currently right now in the middle of a study that the county's paying for for pay disparity for women and minorities in Allegheny County. And when the results come back from that study, we are going to adjust the payroll to reflect equality. And more importantly, the legislation requires an audit every five years to see that we don't slip backwards. So we put this in the legislation. We made it part of the administrative code because when I leave, every following county executive has that five-year audit coming forward. The best way to show diversity is to lead by example. I've done that at the county, and as governor, I will do the same thing. My administration will reflect what the state looks like. My administration uh, would reflect on my boards and commissions what the state looks like. Uh, and uh, I could go through a, a, a list of a lot of firsts that happened on my watch as Allegheny County, and I take a lot of pride in that. And we're going to continue to move those numbers forward, and I will do that as governor. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Uh, the role of women, whether it's in my office of Auditor General and my campaign for governor, or my advocacy for candidates to be elected, is prominent in all areas. Uh, 40, almost 40% 40 of the people that work for me are women. They are some of my best performers and some of the people that have done the, the best job. And in the process, I have promoted more women than I have promoted men. And they've been exceptional performers. In my campaign, my campaign manager is a woman. My finance chair is a woman. My niece, Chelsea, who is here, plays a very prominent role and incidentally is an elected official. And as an elected official, I have been a strong supporter of women for public office. Uh, to name a few, Deborah Todd, uh, Christine Donahue, Ann Lazarus, people that I have campaigned for statewide repeatedly in election after election. But unfortunately, I must tell you that Pennsylvania has a very poor record in terms of electing women. We are 48 out of 50 states uh, in this country in, in the percent of women in elected positions. As governor, I'm going to lead the charge to change that because women have brought tremendous expertise and competence to this government where they are. And we need more women in all levels of government. Thank you. Uh, my solicitor for the city of Scranton is a woman. My director of economic development is a woman. My director of low-income loans is a woman. My director of housing loans is an African-American woman. My campaign chairperson is a woman, also my sister. <laughs> Who I'm afraid of. <laughs> my field director is a woman, and my finance director is a woman. Seven sisters. I grew up in a very female dominated house. How many of your children are women? Three. <laughs>
<laughs> we have a heavy female chair. <laughs> yeah, Joe, you want to say? Well, at the, at the risk of appearing very sorrowful, I have to rebut myself. I, I mentioned um, that my uh, assistant field director is an African American woman. My brand new field director is a woman, and she would be highly offended that I didn't mention that before. So uh, I, I think that the the truth of the matter is, while, while we need to hire people who are able to do the job uh, at, at its highest level, we have to get to a point where we're, we're able to look past uh, color and gender. Uh, we're not there yet. Uh, I know. Time's up. <laughs> but we will get there. We're not there yet. 